Good morning, everyone. And this is was a very unexpected update, but we have the 69 knot three update here today. We're gonna see how it does um, going on the same route I literally just did yesterday morning for 69.2.4. Um, so just a few changes so far. Um, I've noticed just minor things. They've changed the contrast ratio on this little, well, the color, the, the blue color is different. Not to mention the maps load quicker, at least on Wi-Fi they did. They seem to, they look different. See, look how they have like a fuzziness to it. They um, they don't kind of like half break in, they load more evenly, which is really nice. Um, and they load quicker. When I made the waypoints, they were even quicker than before. Let's go ahead and up our speed to the actual speed limit. These are the type of things I'm looking for. Um, like for wide release that really does need to be um, improved in my opinion they need to have like they need to either crowds like I don't know what they need to do but that's something they should focus on is getting correct speed limits like I mean it's not that big of a deal it's really when it goes to slow down is when it's a problem uh, when it doesn't get the speed limit correct so you, there are people who've gotten tickets because they weren't paying attention of course to the speed uh, expecting the car to slow down and when it crosses the new speed limit, it just kind of coasts forever. It'll it'll go like 20 over the speed limit for like for a mile. Then of course that's too slow. It uh, uh, doesn't slow down quick enough if you're in a speed trap. Oh wow! Okay, everyone, <laughs> I just completely bypassed um, the fact that it did not break for any of these medians here. I didn't even like I was talking, uh, not even like. Like, I didn't notice that at all, which is great. That's a huge, great improvement so far. Um, because it, it, didn't, it didn't break for those things at all. It had a tiny, tiny phantom break for that truck, but I don't think it was that big of a deal. And this car is just going really slow for some reason. Um, well, I guess now they're speeding up. But yeah, that, that was great. The GPS also seems to be more accurate here. Um, wow, and my camera was crooked I'm sorry everyone um, make sure that's straight that's that's fantastic let's see it for our next spot so that that's two big improvements so far uh, with this version uh, let's see if they are gonna improve this turn right here so previous updates I think all except for one update would stop here there's a stop sign on the opposite side of the road but not on my side so I can just just smoothly turn in but it hasn't done that only one time. Um, and so let's see what it's gonna do this time here. I even submitted data on the last update and it, down, it uploaded two and a half, or six and a half gigs. So it's still, yep, okay, so it's still stopping it like it has to stop here. Let's go ahead and press the camera button. It definitely shouldn't need to stop there because there's no stop sign for me on that part of the road. Let's go ahead and also cancel this other waypoint here. and yes it has alternative routes now that's i don't think it's 69 that three feature that's just, well strictly a on the the branch we're on the 30 branch i think now so we're on the newer software update and um so that that's awesome that we have alternative routes now as you can see the map data here is still pretty cruddy but um is there's a person walking here in the road instead of using the sidewalk cool um, but yeah it still handles it well so we're gonna see our test really is to see can it make this turn again and can it make this turn it's never made well it's made a long time ago but the last few updates has not made that turn Almost there. So this sign you can see lit up right here is the turn. Unfortunately, it's a little bit darker than it was yesterday when we did this. Very smooth slow down, and it made the turn, but it was a little bit jerkier. But that could be due to it being dark. It also is. Um, I've noticed. So this is definitely improved on this road. Oh wow! What? I thought the turn was right there. It's about the turn. Okay, 
Um, well, that's not improved, but it's, it stays slower on this road. Notice how it stayed at 18 mile an hour when, um, oh, is it going to do it? Is this thing about doing it? Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Uh, is it, what's it, <laughs> it's thinking about it, it's thinking about it. I think it's because, here, um, let's cancel this. So that wasn't a disengagement. We're going to actually just go ahead and route it back where we need to go, back across the highway here. And, um, let's see if it can make it. I'm actually going to back up as well to give it some room to remake it. Um, that's just because I bet the waypoint was too, too close. So let's give it some room to make this turn for the first time ever. Oh, come on. It also wants to turn that way. We want to go this way. Was that a waypoint here? So this still, I guess when you're not on Wi-Fi, this is a lot slower. Or, oh, and there's a person up there. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> okay. Okay, so stop for the stop sign. Is it going to match you? Oh, it didn't. It screwed up the routing. Oh, come on. It's thing. Come on, you're doing it. You're doing it. Yeah. Okay. So everyone saw what I saw. That um, it completely uh, deleted my new routing. Now that's a bug from the previous updates. So Tesla, if you're watching, um, that's definitely a bug. I know it's not a critical bug, but it's still a really, 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 really annoying. Um, and so that wasn't a disengagement. We're just trying to reroute us. And now maybe that we've made it to the waypoint, it'll actually let us reroute to this location here. Which would be right here. Do, 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 do. They should play the Jeopardy music every time it, like, um. Every time. Oh. No, I want to go this way, but this way. Maybe I can make it go this way. I. Add a waypoint here. Oh, there's a car coming. Why? Tesla, load your waypoints quicker. Okay, so we're gonna have to just manually do this. Let's see here. So see, see, this is a major issue. Like, if you're trying to test and you have to like do this stuff, but it's still, it's still trying to go the wrong way. We're Okay, no, um, I, we're not gonna count that as a disengagement, but it's strictly, it's just a stupid, uh, issue. Like, look at this, it's trying to go here. That's wrong. And these people were probably freaking out, like, why are they walking? She she thought I was lost. <laughs> Which full self driving's lost, let me tell you that. God. Okay. And now it's trying to go around these people. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, I wish it would make, let you do the waypoints all at one time, but it doesn't. It never let you do it. Um, and so, Tesla, if you're watching, this is clearly a clear issue with the waypoints. Now, this, that's a relatively, I think, easy issue to fix. Oh, yay. I like this a lot. I'm glad they finally added this. Um, so, they need to w look here. So, last update, it just didn't look at all and it sped through this. So it is looking very well. So it's good. This is exactly what needed to happen. Oh, his car came, but that 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 handled that very well. 
Um, hopefully, I'm not putting some <laughs> type of watch list here for for our local town. It's like this dude in a Tesla at the roof rack is like just creepily watching our houses this morning. <laughs> hopefully not. Um, but um, yeah, they've also changed the traffic data here, which is odd because there's no police car watching. This is why you can't speed. Oh, he's definitely in there waiting to catch someone speeding this morning. Uh, so it didn't break for the blinking yellow, which is good. It has done that in previous updates. And since there was a police car here, I'm not, I, I'll open a couple mile an hour, but I'm definitely not gonna open it more than that. They're waiting for a car to come in from the opposite direction. Um, cars do speed in here, it is a school day. Uh, wait, yeah, it is a school day. And um, you best be going 20 mile an hour through here. Um, it goes from a 35 to a 20. The problem with full self driving, if I was coming from this road right here, um, and uh, coming along here, it's 35 in into a 20, it would still be going 30 mile an hour by the time it got to that cop, way back there. And so, yeah, and that, that's a huge problem. It doesn't slow down quick enough, which as you can tell, it's a safety issue. You should not be going 30 mile an hour in a school zone. That, that's, that's an actual legitimate safety issue, that the car needs to adjust proper speed limits. Um, when, it, when it crosses a new speed limit, it needs to start slowing down to adjust to that speed limit. And it doesn't do that currently. And so I think that is something that needs to be addressed before it goes to full wide release. They're probably gonna do it anyway, because if you're in California or somewhere with really good map data, it's probably a very rare issue. But if you're somewhere here that has poor map data, that is an issue that's gonna happen very often. It happens all over the place in, uh, here in the mountains. And it's something that really needs to be addressed. Well, let's see how it works here. Um, going around this curve, let's we'll see if it slows down. In my opinion, it doesn't need to slow down at all at 45 mile an hour going around this curve coming up. But let's see how it does. We had a car behind this last time that went 40 mile an hour. And see, that, that's the thing, as a preference thing. A lot of people, again, would be, you know, scared, if you will, or, like, uncomfortable going 45 around this, which, is, to me, is just so slow. Like, you're going, see, now we're going down the 41. But it's smooth, but we're going down the, you know, 41 mile an hour to make it around this curve. Um, so far, very minimal to no phantom braking. Uh, I mean, we had one tiny smidget, and that's... It didn't really even count, if I'm gonna be honest. So we're looking for now, going past the highway, is it, is it gonna phantom break on these two medians here? They have this meeting. Not even a bit, not even a bit, that's great. And now we have this one right here. Not even a bit. You saw last time it just jammed, so it had phantom break for this car right here. That was the only time it phantom break. Otherwise, everyone, I'm gonna, besides the bad routing, so we gotta separate the bad routing, uh, routing, the bad um, map navigation from the actual performance of full self-driving. I'm just gonna slow it down here because I'm almost home. Um, this is the first zero disengagement drive. This is a true, I, in my opinion, zero disengagement. It's because of the way the map data, you know, with the waypoint in it, it didn't want to turn because it was so close to the waypoint. That is not a full self-driving problem. That is a maps navigation problem. And so in terms of full self-driving, this is the first time it's ever done zero disengagements on this drive. And so I'm super excited to say that. Um, I'm just gonna say, I, I really don't think that's clickbait when I say that based on what you guys saw the video. So you let me know, comments down below. I appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye one.